Hey guys, welcome to a new video of CSAT with Jessin. So in today's video, we'll be talking about the concept of dice and cube. And when it comes to dice and cube, UPSC hasn't been asking so many questions from th this topic for the last four or five years. And even in the ask question, the mostly the concepts are from uh, cube. Okay, so this is not much of an uh, important topic when we look into the trends of UPSC. So if you like this video, please do subscribe, share and support. And if you want to join my telegram channel, you can join using the link that I'll be providing in the description box. So let us start with the video. So let us first look into some basics of dice. Everyone will be knowing what a dice is, right? Because we play different games using dice like snake and ladders and everything. Okay. So a dice is actually a cube. It is having six phases and in each of these phases, you will be having numbers from one to six. So when it comes to UPC, you need to know different types of dice actually there are two types of dice one is standard dice and another one is general dice so when it comes to standard dice the sum of opposite side will be equal to 7 and when it comes to general dice the sum of adjacent side will be equal to 7 sum of any adjacent side will be equal to 7 for example i will give you a cube like this Okay, so this is a cube. This face is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. Okay, F let's uh, say that the side opposite to 1 is 6. The side opposite to 3 which is this side, it is 4 and side opposite to 2 which is the down side, let's say this is 5. Now if you add the opposite side, this is 1, its opposite side is 6. So 1 plus 6 is 7. This is 4, its opposite side is 3. 4 plus 3 is again 7. This is 2, its opposite side is 5, 2 plus 5 is again 7. So here the sum of opposite sides is 7. So this is known as a standard dice. Now when it comes to a general dice, there is no strict format for that. Okay, so here let us take a dice like this. This is 1, this is 3 and this is 6. Now if you see the adjacent side, here 1 is adjacent and 1 is adjacent to 6, right? So the sum of these two adjacent side will come to 7. That means sum of opposite side is not 7 because 6 is coming adjacent to 1. So if you get a cube like this, sorry a dice like this, this is known as a general dice. So you, so when it comes to standard dice, we can easily guess what the opposite side is. If you are in a standard dice, if I ask you what is the opposite side of 1, you will say it's 6. But when it comes to general dice, you cannot say what is the opposite side okay so upsc will be asking majorly questions from general dice so now we'll be looking into different types of questions okay then we'll be solving different uh, upsc questions as well as some uh, practice questions okay so now let us look into different types of questions that comes from dice actually in dice the normally the questions will be a figure will be given then according to the figure you need to find out different sides of the cube Okay, so in type 1 dice questions, you will be given only one figure. So from that one figure, you need to identify the different sides of the cube. Okay, now here you are given a cube like this and you are asked to find out the opposite side of 1. So this is 1. Opposite side means the back side which will be here. Okay, so opposite side of 1, what is opposite side of 1? Here 2 is already there, 3 is here. That means either this will be 4, 5 or 6, right? Now, if the question says that this cube is a stand, this dice is a standard dice, then you know that the opposite side will be 6 because 1 plus 6 is 7. You know that in a standard dice, the sum of opposite sides will be 7. Then you can say that the opposite side to 1 is 6. But if the question doesn't specify anything, that means that it is a general dice. So when it comes to a general dice, you cannot answer this question. Because opposite side of 1 can be 4, 5 or 6. We don't know because it's not specified anything. So if you are given with only one figure, okay, then UPC has to say that it, the dice is a standard dice. Then only you can answer the question. Then only you can find out the different phases of the cube. So this is type 1 kind of questions. Okay, now let us move on to type 2 question. So in type 2 questions, you will be given two figures 
actually in type 2 there are two cases case 1 and case 2 so i am talking about case 1 now so let us take an example so let us take the first example here here if you see these are the two figures given if here if you see you have one number which is common to both the figure which is 5 no other numbers are common right only you now one number is common so if two figures are given and one number is common you have to do a trick then you can identify the, uh, the all the sides of cube very easily what you need to do is that here 5 is common in both side in both the figures right so you draw it in a clockwise direction from 5 here also you draw a clockwise direction from 5 then write it accordingly okay here 5 then if you are taking the clockwise direction 4 will come then 3 will come so write like this 5 4 3 okay now in the second figure you are starting from 5 then if you follow the clockwise direction you will get 2 and 1 so just write it below 5 2 1 this means that 3 is opposite to 1 4 is opposite to 2 then here both 5 is there now we have already written 1 here 2 here 3 here 4 here and 5 here the last number is 6 actually so just change it and make it 6 so 5 will be opposite to 6 now if UPSC asks the question you if UPSC given give this figure and it asks like what is the opposite side of 1 the opposite side of 1 will be 3 what is the opposite side of 2 it will be 4 what is the opposite side of 6 it will be 5 now let us take another example if you take the example number 2 here you can see that the number 3 is common in both the figure so you draw a clockwise direction from 3 here and in this figure also draw a clockwise direction from 3 then write 3 here in this first figure it's 3 4 and 5 so 3 4 5 in the second figure it is 3 2 1 so write 3 2 1 here that means that in this cube 5 is opposite to 1 4 is opposite to 2 and the last number 1 2 3 4 5 we have already written last number is 6 so change this 3 to 6 then 3 will be opposite to 6 so this is type 2 case 1 questions okay so in type 2 case 2 questions you will be having two numbers common in type 2 case 1 questions you were having only one number common and if you have only one number common you can use the clockwise trick but here if you see 3 and 1 are common here 3 and 1 are common okay so if you have two numbers common if two figures are given don't use the clockwise trick you cannot use the clockwise trick here what you need to do is that other than this common number you have 4 here so other than this common number you have 5 here that means 4 and 5 will be opposite phases okay opposite of 4 will be 5 when it comes to 3 here 1 4 and 3 is there here 1 3 and 5 is there so balance 6 and 2 will be there then opposite to 3 will be 6 or 2 okay any can come we cannot say for exact we cannot exactly say okay then opposite of uh, opposite of 1 will be again 6 or 2 if 6 is opposite to 3 then 2 will be opposite to 1 if 2 is opposite to 3 then 6 will be opposite to 1 so if you are given two figures and there is only one uh, number which is common to both the figures then you can exactly say all the faces all opposite faces okay but if you are given two figures and you have two numbers in common then only one uh, opposite sides you can say for sure other two you cannot say for sure here four is opposite to five that we can say for sure but for opposite number of three opposite face of 3 we cannot say for sure it can be 2 or 6 opposite side of 1 it can be 2 or 6 we cannot say for sure so if you, you if you PC give these two figures and they ask like uh, what is the opposite face to 3 then they are given option they gave option like 2 6 6 or 2 if this the options are like that you need to choose 6 or 2 because we cannot say 2 for sure we cannot say 6 for sure it can be 6 or 2 this you need to remember okay so in type 3 you will be given three or more figures okay here three figures are given if you are given four figures or five figures you have to do exactly same as i am going to tell you now okay so here i have taken three figures now when it comes to three figure you have to do exactly like what you have done for two figures 
for two figures what you need to do you have to choose two figures and then you do you need to do the clockwise trick here also you can do the clockwise trick first thing that you need to understand is that you need to choose the figures in which one number is common so this is let's say this is the first figure this is the second figure and this is the third figure if you choose first and second figure here four is common in both the cases right so you can draw a clockwise like this here also do uh, draw a clockwise direction then you can write 436 here it will come 436 in clockwise direction okay here it will come 451 in clockwise direction 451 this means that 1 is opposite to 6 3 is opposite to 5 and the last number is 2 that means 4 is opposite to 2 so in this way without using this figure you find out all the opposite side okay so if you are even if you are given three figures you actually need only two figures first you need to choose those two figures in which at least in which only one number is in common then you can use the clockwise trick and then find out the opposite sides okay here you can also use actually you can also use two and three okay if you see the figures two and three here five is common five is the only number is only number which is common then you can use the clockwise trick here if I draw the clockwise direction here, it comes 5, 1, 4. If I draw the clockwise direction like this, it will come 5, 6 and 2. Okay, that means 4 is opposite to 2, 1 is opposite to 6 and the last number is 3. That means 5 is opposite to 3. In this way, just take two figures. Even if you are given three figures or four figures or five figures, you only need actually two figures in which one number is common. Then you can find out all the opposite side. Okay, in this way, you need to solve type 3 questions as well so actually we have uh, solved the dice where you are given uh, numbers on its faces now there can be questions in which symbols are there on the faces so here also you need to do exactly the same so this is the type 4 questions okay here if you see these two figures you are given symbols not numbers so even if it's symbols just do exactly the same as we did for the numbers here if we see these two figures cross is common in both right so you use the clockwise trick here okay so i can write cross minus one dot here it will come cross division two dots that means one dot will be opposite to two dots then uh, minus will be opposite to division etc so in this way you need to solve type 4 questions as well so it is exactly the same like numbers the only difference is that in place of numbers you are given uh, symbols okay so now this is the final type type 5 which is open cube actually so if you are given figures like this this means that the cube is open the cube is first cut and it is open now if i make this to cube again then how what is opposite to 1 what is opposite to 5 and all so that kind of questions so here also you have a very easy trick so if you are given a figure like this here 1 will be opposite to 3 okay take the alternate number 5 will be opposite to 4 and 2 will be opposite to 6 in this figure 1 will be opposite to 2 that is the alternate number right 6 will be opposite to 5 3 will be opposite to 4 in this figure alternate numbers are 1 and 5 so 1 will be opposite to 5 2 will be opposite to 4 and last 3 will be opposite to 6 so in this way you need to solve open cubes so if you see the questions on uh, or if you t see the type of questions on cube if you know the trick if you know that clockwise trick if you know this open cube trick it's actually very easy for you to solve the uh, problems but the thing is that upsc hasn't been asking questions from this topic for the last uh, four years so uh, if, uh, in 2018 upsc has asked one question i have added that question in this uh, video we'll be solving that later okay so guys let us move into the concept of cube now so let's see some basics about cube first okay so in a cube you have six phases that you know the face means this is one face and this topmost there is one face bottom there is one face in this way there are total six phases in a cube now when it comes to these points these points are known as the vertices so there are total eight vertices in a cube similarly this is known as the edge of the cube and you have total 12 edges in a cube so these are some of the basic concepts about the cube now when it comes to UPSC normally the questions from cube is based on the concept of painted cube 
so the question will be like this a cube is painted in all sides then that cube is divided into smaller cubes then how many smaller cubes will be there with three side painted or two side painted so the questions will be like this so we will look into the concept of painted cube now and we will see how we can solve those questions very easily okay so now let us see the concept of painted cube so we will take an example for you to understand it better let's say we have a bigger cube like this so let's say this is 3 cm the side of this cube is 3 cm now i am dividing this bigger cube into smaller cubes and let's say each smaller cube is having 1 cm side okay now there is a concept there is a uh, term called n here so n means the um, side of larger cube divided by the side of smaller cube okay so here in this example we took the side of larger cube as 3 so n is equal to 3 divided by and we took the side of smaller cube as 1 okay so 3 by 1 this is equal to 3 so n is a term that you need to understand it's very important to understand the concept of n because uh, we are we'll be using n in solving the questions okay so here n is equal to 3 now if i ask you that uh, if i ask you this question that i have a cube of 3 centimeter now i divided it into many cubes of same side 1 centimeter then how many cubes are there how many smaller cubes are there then the answer will be n cube n cube means here n is 3 that is 3 cube that is 27 that means if i am dividing a cube of side 3 centimeter into different cubes of side 1 centimeter then i'll be having a total of 27 cubes n cube okay so here if you count this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then in this way three layers are there 9 into 3 is 27 so we are getting 27 smaller cubes now if i tell you that i have a cube okay i am dividing the cube into 64 e smaller cubes of equal size okay i have a bigger cube i am dividing that cube into 64 smaller cubes then if you are asked to find out if a question is asked like that then there you need to find out n first here in this type of question the question has given the total number of smaller cubes so total number of smaller cube will be n cube right so here n cube is equal to 64 so n is equal to cube root of 64 which is equal to 4 so here in all the question it's very important for you to find out n first so if i am giving you the question like this that is i am dividing a cube of 3 cm into smaller cubes of 1 cm in that case n is equal to 3 by 1 if i am saying you that i am dividing this cube into a 27 smaller cube that means n cube is equal to 27 and n is equal to 3 so if this is a this is the two methods in which you need to find and depending upon the question now let us move on to our actual question and how we can solve it okay so assume that let us uh, i'll explain to you the concept of painted cube with the help of this example let us assume that we have a bigger cube with three centimeter side and this cube is painted with yellow in all the sides okay this is painted with yellow in all the sides now i am dividing this cube into smaller cubes of one centimeter side that means n is equal to three now I need to find out how many cubes are how many smaller cubes are there with three side painted okay three side painted now if you see this cube this corner piece you can see that in this side is painted this side is painted and this side is painted that means three sides are painted if you take this corner cube here this side is painted this side is painted and this side will be painted so all the corner cubes will be three side painted how many corner cubes are here one two three four and in the bottom also you will be having four corner cubes right so total there are eight corner cubes so there will there will be eight cubes in which three sides are painted okay so whatever the question may be if you are given the question like a, a cube of four centimeter is divided into smaller cubes or a cube of three centimeter is divided into smaller cubes, whatever the question may be if you are asked to find out the number of cubes in which three sides are painted it will be eight okay so just remember eight now you need to find out how many cubes are there with two side painted okay here let us see how we can solve it so here if you see this cube this here it's painted here it's painted so two sides are painted 
this cube here it's painted here it's painted again two sides are painted here this cube will be here it's painted and back side will be painted again two sides are painted so in this way this cube will also be two side painted similarly so in this layer there are four cubes with two side painted in the bottom layer also you will be having four cubes with two side painted in this layer in the uh, middle layer this cube will be two side painted this cube will be two side painted and this cube and the other cube on the other side will be two side painted so there are total 12 cubes with two side painted in this way you can solve the uh, solve this okay and there is also an another formula an easy formula to find it out that is 12 into n minus 2 here n is actually 3 so 12 into 3 minus 2 is 1 12 into 1 is 12 so using this formula if you know n you can just directly substitute n here and find out that there are 12 cubes which are two side painted now similarly if i am asking you to find out the number of cubes with one side painted so if you take this one if you see this cube will be one side painted this cube will be one side painted this cube will be one side painted in that in that way in all the faces there are total six faces in a cube in all those faces there will be one cube with one side painted so the answer is there are six cubes with one side painted again there is a formula to find it out very easily which is equal to 6 into n minus 2 square here n is 3 3 minus 2 is 1 1 square is 1 6 into 1 is 6 so you will get 6 now if i ask you how many cubes are there with zero side painted or no side painted here also there is a formula actually this cube the middlemost cube here in this case will be no side painted right so here the formula is n minus 2 whole cube that is equal to 3 minus 2 1 1 cube is 1 okay so if you by heart these formulas that means three side there is no formula it is in all the question it will be 8 two side painted the formula is 12 into n minus 2 one side uh, one side formula is 6 into n minus 2 square if uh, no side painted is n minus 2 whole cube so if you by heart these formulas you can solve the questions on painted cube actually very easily the only thing is that you need to find out n and i told you there are two ways depending on the question there are two ways in how you need to find out n okay so we'll be moving on to questions now we'll be first looking into upsc questions and we'll be also looking into some practice questions as well so now let us look into different question this is from upsc 2018 a solid cube of 3 cm is painted on all faces it is cut into smaller cubes of 1 cm side how many of the small cubes will have exactly two faces painted so this is actually a very easy question if you know the formula here you know that first you need to find out n n is equal to 3 divided by 1 which is equal to 3 now you have the formula for two face painted which is 12 into n minus 2 so here n is 3 so if you substitute 3 for n you will get a 12 into 3 minus 2 which is equal to 12 so the answer was option a 12 okay so now let us look into a different question this is about dice this is also from upsc 2018 the rotated positions of a single solid are given below the various faces of the solid are marked with different symbols like dots cross line etc answer the three questions that follows so here the dice are having symbols not numbers so i told you that even if it's having the symbols it's similar to the numbers so you have to do with the uh, same logic now here it's given four figures so here you only need two figures to solve this question so you need to find out those figures in which only one symbol is common so if you take figure one and figure three if you see here only this line is common so here you can use the clockwise trick so if you draw a, clock, a clockwise direction like this and here so in the from the first figure you can write a uh, line then two dots then a single dot now from the third figure you can write line four dots and three dots so that means three dot will be opposite to one dot two dot will be opposite to four dot and here the balance one is cross so i will change this to cross so here line will be opposite to cross so now so now you got all the opposite sides now if you look into, into the third question what is the symbol on the face opposite to single dot single dot is three dot so option b is the right answer now if you look into the fourth question what is the symbol on the face opposite to that containing two dots two dots is four dots 
so option c is the right answer so actually if this was a very easy question in 2018 actually 2018 csat papers uh, paper was very easy U upsc started to change the pattern from 2019 okay so from 2019 upsc hasn't asked any question from uh, dice okay so if you uh, if the question comes from dice in the coming years then you need to solve like this okay now let us look into a practice question a cube of 3 cm side is divided into smaller cubes of 1 cm side what is the minimum number of cuts required to obtain those smaller cube so here it is asking about the number of cuts not about anything else so let us draw a cube so let's say this is cube of 3 cm side so this is 3 cm side cube now we are cutting it into cubes of 1 cm side so i need to do two cuts like this right if i do two cuts like this then this will become one centimeter this will become one centimeter this will become one centimeter now if i do cut like this two cuts like this this side will become one centimeter then one centimeter one centimeter now if i do two cuts like this again here also it will become one centimeter one centimeter and one centimeter so we need to do total minimum six cuts so that we can divide a cube of 3 cm side into smaller cubes of 1 cm side. So here option C was the right answer. So let us look into a different question here. A cube is painted red on two adjacent faces, black on the faces opposite to the red faces and green on the remaining faces. The cube is cut into 27 smaller cubes of equal size. Then how many small cubes will be having both green and red on its face? Now here this is not a standard type of question, right? So we have done questions from a cube so far. So we have done like the cube will be painted in all faces. Then uh, the cube is cut into smaller cubes. Then how many cubes are there with two side painted, three side painted, one side painted. So we have done questions like that. But this is not a standard type of question. Here the cube, different faces of cubes are uh, colored with different colors are used. Okay, so this is not a standard type of question. So in this type of questions, you need to draw the figure. So I have drawn a cube here, which is cut into 27 smaller cubes. Now the question says that a cube is painted red on two adjacent faces. So let's assume that, assume that this face is red and this face is red. So these are two adjacent faces, right? Now black on the faces opposite to the red faces. That means let's say this face, this face is opposite to this red side, right? So this will be black and the back side will be black because this back side is uh, opposite to this face now the remaining faces is painted with green that means the top side will be green and here bottom will be green okay now how the question is how many small cubes will be having both green and red on its face now if you see this small cube this is having green here and red here so this will be a cube this cube is having green here and red here so this will be a cube this cube is having green here, then red here and red here. So this will be a cube. This is having green here and red here. This will be a cube. This is having green here, red here. This will be a cube. Now, these will be the cubes on the top side because green is coming on the top side. So you have to see wherever green and red are coinciding. So these cubes are where green and red are coinciding, right? Now, when you come to the bottom, bottom side is also this bottom side is green. So if you take this cube, this cube will be having red here and on the bottom you it will be having green. This cube will be having red here on the bottom again it will be having green. This cube will be having red here and red here and bottom it will be having green here. This cube will be having red here and the bottom it will be green. Now this cube will be having red here and the bottom this will be green. So these are the different cubes where green and red are coinciding. So how many cubes are there? Top there will be 5 cubes and bottom there will be 5 cubes. Total there are 10 cubes. So option B was the right answer. Okay. So let us move on to a question which was asked in UPC 2019. It is actually similar to the question which we have solved uh, just before. But this was actually a very tricky question. So now let's see how it's done. A solid cube is painted yellow, blue and black such that the opposite faces are of same color. Okay. The cube is then cut into 36 cubes of two different sizes. Normally we have done all the questions so far in which the cube is divided into cubes of equal sizes. Here the cube is divided into two different sized cubes such that 32 cubes are small and other four cubes are big. None of the faces of the bigger cube is painted blue. Okay. 
how many cubes have only one face painted so here again it's not a standard question so you need to draw the figure so i am drawing a cube like this okay now let us assume that this side is the top side is blue okay top side is blue so the bottom will also be blue because opposite faces are painted the same right now let's assume that blue is the blue we have already done then black and yellow now this face let's say this face is black and this back side will be black this uh, this face is yellow and the other face is yellow okay now it is said that the cube is divided into 36 cubes of two different sizes okay with 32 cubes are small and four are big now here the thing that you need to first look into is that none of the faces of bigger cube is painted blue so this is this top side is blue and bottom side is blue so the bigger cubes will not come here okay so if you divide like this if you divide like this the bigger cubes will come here because then only it won't be having a blue as one of its side if i draw like this in between these smaller cubes then there won't be blue on its side of the bigger cube right so this way i have drawn it now you have 32 now you got four small cubes right so sorry four, four big cubes right this is a cube this is a big cube this is a big cube and on the other side there will be one big cube so the we got four big cubes now now we need to draw 32 small cubes so we have a uh, area here and an area in the bottom so if 32 cubes are there then 16 will be in the top then 16 will be in the bottom 16 means 4 into 4 right so if i divide this into four cubes like this and here also if i am dividing like this into four then we got total 16 cubes so similarly i am drawing in the bottom so now we have 16 cubes on the top 16 cubes in the bottom and four big cubes in the middle now our diagram is complete and these four cubes won't be having blue as one of its side so in this way if you are getting a question like this like this you need to actually draw the figure according to the question this is actually a tricky part it's very difficult for you to visualize and draw this actually so uh, anyway you need to try it and you need to draw the figure now the question was how many cubes were having only one face painted now, if you look into the bigger cubes bigger cubes will always have two side painted right because it, it is having this side and this side so anyway it will be two side painted so no need to look into the bigger cubes now let's look into the smaller cubes so the all the cubes on these sides will be having at least two side painted because here there is a side here there is a side so only these cubes in the middle that is this cube this cube this cube and this cube these four cubes will be having only one side painted similarly there will be four cubes on the bottom so option c8 was the right answer for this okay so this is how you need to solve this problem so guys thank you so much so i'll be coming with a new video soon uh, if you like this video please do subscribe share and support and if you want to join my telegram channel you can join it using the link that i'll be providing in the description box so thank you so much